That's I listened idea. to Sarah Wars repeatedly. I tried to understand what she have said. I tried to analyze the information she have provided. Whenever I listen to the recordings, the nightmarish things of the lockdown period emerged in my head. I can't get rid of them. Yalan was a PhD student of media studies. She studied in the UK. She is one of the interviewees I have only talked to online. Um, I've been through uh, six stages for me. 
personally, uh, I've been through the first one, the bewilderment, confused at the beginning, uh, because the coronavirus break out in China first, then the UK. So at the beginning, I can still get most information about this virus offline. So I can communicate with my friends, especially in the UK. People would not take this as a very serious issue. They just think this virus probably just a backup like verse. It's not something uh, uh, the stocks. So, um, but since we, me and my Chinese friend, we learn quite a lot of information online, mostly from official accounts in WeChat or friends' moments, they post different um, articles made probably from authorities' um, notification and they upload it on their moments. The key reason is we all have families in China. So we will pay massive attention on the latest situation in China. So for me, I become more uh, serious about this virus. I mean, all Chinese people, I think, in, in the UK, more than foreigners. And uh, for me, I start to download Jingyu Toutiao and I start to read it every day because I can see how many cases um, added every day because I'm worried about my family and I check the cases in uh, the, the cities they live uh, several times every day actually. It is the very first thing I do when I woke up and the last thing I do when I go to, back, uh, go to bed. I want to know the cases and the cities uh, my family's leave and my friends leave. So the different attitude from UK and China sometimes makes me feel a little bit confused, although I know it's quite serious. But I kind of hope this is not a SARS like verse. I kind of hope. So at the beginning, I'm a bit confused because it's an uncertain thing. Uh, and I've been to entering to the second stage anger. I feel somehow somewhat overwhelmed about uh, what I hear, which confers some of the rumors circulating on viral, uh, viral social media, for example, the Twitters, the Facebook, because lots of people around me, we, we all have Facebook, we check it sometimes, for me, sometimes, um, several times a week. So which is not consistent with official news report or I cannot even find it from any official news. It's just the rumors that spread among people. Uh, they said it's Chinese, it's China virus. It's not, con they, they don't use a certain name, um, uh, academic name of it. And it seems there's no way to know who started and who spread it. But the purpose of it is quite clear. They just want to spread the misinformation and the rumors are target China. And this makes me makes me very angry. And the virus is beginning because it's beginning um, in China. So it is somehow increasing the hating about Chinese or Asian people in the UK. So not just me, me and my friends, uh, actually including Chinese friends and friends from different countries who are quite close to me. So we are angry and we made actions. I remember a friend of mine, she is also a PhD and she and her husband also do PhD in the UK. She's quite active online. Uh, even she's not doing um, the social media, she's doing her work was rumors, actually focus on rumors. She's been through similar emotional stages like me. So uh, especially the anger stage. I remember she made comments and she shared articles that telling false information on her WeChat moments and Facebook and Twitter. So the China, the China reports and the notifications is, is the article that, that we will share. Uh, so she made comments and quote what is weak indications made in the news report. So we share it. Um, and I do appreciate that I have friends like her to support one another. So we know it's a long battle. After asking her all the routine questions about the social media's function during the pandemic, I can't help asking her a question that has disturbed me for a long time. The question is, although social media can give help to people in many areas, do you think it can really take away the mental trauma caused by this disease? 
The coronavirus 19 triggers an in immediate attention from the academics. So the topic of the infodemic become the central of the topic again. We were kind of locked into a infodemic situation. How do people identify false and true information? How do we counter rumors? Along with the development of the coronavirus 19, social media displays a much more significant role to the, to the whole society ever than before. The spread of misinformation on social media also provides both challenges and opportunities for actually all subject area. So from the social media perspective, social media offers an opportunity for experts to quickly convey true information about the hazards because we spend much more time on social media. We receive and pass information via various social media platforms. The experts will have more chance to filter the definition of the information and offer others the opportunity to counter these with the spread of misinformation. The functions of the social media, in what way do, do people build up a communication network and what forms of communication network will be built up among individuals and groups are also draggers uh, the large attention from the academic study. But can social media really take away the mental trauma caused by the pandemic? I think it's yes and no. Yes, we entered into a kind of new way of lifestyle. Uh, not just the young people who born in the digital era, uh, like they, those, but those who born in the age we only have traditional communication technologies. They may have less opportunities to learn how to use diverse social media. Now they have, they've got help from younger generation and instructions offered by social media platforms. The information is clearer and additional channels for social media users to find the information. But no, for the people who lost their families or friends because of the coronavirus 19, no matter how many channels we have to release their negative emotion feelings or mental health organizations there to offer help, they'll need very, very long time to recover. The stress are getting busy. A further lift of the lockdown is in the government's plan. If you walk now in central London, you can't see much of the mark left by the pandemic. Sometimes it looks like that nothing has happened. But whenever I go to bed and close my eyes, the bleak sense of those terrible days repeat themselves in my head. Although I know I should keep working on my project about the great function of social media being an unprecedented natural disaster, I feel I can never get rid of the black shadow in the bottom of my heart. The pandemic will lock down my happiness for a very long time.